Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Forest Society and Colonialism. Question number 1. In which of the following years did the Indian Forest Act come into being? Option A. 1865. Option B. 1864. Option C. 1906. Option D. 1910. The correct answer is Option A. 1865. The Indian Forest Act came into being in 1865. Question number 2. The British directly encouraged the production of commercial crops due to their demand in Europe. Which of the following is not a commercial crop? Option A. Jute. Option B. Cotton. Option C. Rubber. Option D. Opium. The correct answer is Option A. Jute. Wheat is not a commercial crop. It can be consumed directly. Question number 3. Who among the following started a movement against the state ownership of forests? Option A. Dietrich Brandis. Option B. Surontik Osameen. Option C. Gundadhur. Option D. George Yule. The correct answer is Option B. Surontik Osameen. Surontik Osameen, an inhabitant of Randublatung village, started a movement against the state ownership of forests. Question number 4. Forests were considered unproductive in the early 19th century by the colonial state. Which of the following was the reason? Option A. Forests were unable to supply the raw materials for industrial production. Option B. Forests were not fit for inhibition. Option C. Forests did not yield revenue to enhance the income of the state. Option D. Forests had an overgrowth of wild trees in an unplanned manner. The correct answer is Option C. Forests did not yield revenue to enhance the income of the state. As forests did not yield revenue to enhance the income of the state, they were considered unproductive in the early 19th century by the colonial state. Question number 5. Due to which of the following reasons did the demand for commercial crops increase in the 19th century Europe? A. Food grains were required to feed the growing urban population. B. Raw material was required for industrial production. C. Trading in food grains was becoming a very lucrative business. Option A. Only A. Option B. Only A and B. Option C. Only B. Option D. Only B and C. The correct answer is Option B. Only A and B. The demand for commercial crops increased in the 19th century Europe because food grains were required to feed the growing urban population and raw material was required for industrial production. Question number 6. The Imperial Forest Research Institute was set up at Dehradun. Which of the following systems was being taught there? Option A. Scientific Fishery. Option B. Scientific Forestry. Option C. Scientific Plantation. Option D. Scientific Irrigation. The correct answer is Option B. Scientific Forestry. Scientific Forestry was the system being taught at the Imperial Forest Research Institute. Question number 7. Which of the following statements is slash are false? A. For colonial trade and for the movement of imperial troops, railways were essential. B. The disappearance of oak forests in England created problems for timber supply for the Royal Navy. C. Gundadhur, a German expert, set up the Indian Forest Service and helped formulate the Indian Forest Act. Option A. Only A. Option B. Only A and B. 
Option C. Only B. Option D. Only B and C. The correct answer is Option B. Only A and B. Brandis, a German expert, set up the Indian Forest Service and helped formulate the Indian Forest Act. Question number 8. After the amendment of the Forest Act in 1878, for house building or fuel, villagers could take wood from which of the following forests? A. Reserved forests B. Protected forests C. Village forests. Option A. Only A. Option B. Only A and B. Option C. Only B. Option D. Only B and C. The correct answer is Option D. Only B and C. After the amendment of the Forest Act in 1878, for house building or fuel, villagers could take wood from protected and village forests. Question number 9. Which of the following decisions was taken by the Forest Act, 1878? Option A. Forests were to be cleared of all wild trees. Option B. In forests, only one type of trees were to be planted. Option C. Forests were to be cleared for using land in agriculture. Option D. Forests were to be divided into three categories. The correct answer is Option D. Forests were to be divided into three categories. Under the Forest Act, 1878, forests were to be divided into three categories protected, reserved, and village. Question number 10 Which of the following is a local term for Sweden agriculture in India? Option A. Lading. Option B. Milpa. Option C. Tevi. Option D. Bever. The correct answer is Option D. Bever. Bever is a local term for Sweden agriculture in India. Question number 11. Match the following Forest communities places of living A. Korava 1. Jharkhand B. Gons 2. Chhattisgarh C. Santhals 3. Madras Presidency. Option A. A. 3. B. 2. C. 1. Option B. A. 3. B. 1. C. 2. Option C. A. 1. B. 3. C. 2. Option D. A. 2. B. 3. C. 1. The correct answer is Option A. A. 3. B. 2. C. 1. The Korava lived in Madras Presidency. The Gons lived in Chhattisgarh. The Santhals lived in Jharkhand. Question number 12. Which of the following trees was used by the Munduruchu people of the Brazilian Amazon to collect latex? Option A. Palm. Option B. Rubber. Option C. Coconut. Option D. Eucalyptus. The correct answer is Option B. Rubber. Rubber tree was used by the Munduruchu people of the Brazilian Amazon to collect latex. Question number 13. Which of the following statements is slash are false? A. Parts of forests are cut and burnt in shifting cultivation. B. The forest department preferred trees like sal and teak that were suitable for building ships and railways. C. Shifting cultivation made it easier for the government to calculate taxes. Option A. Only A. Option B. Only A and B. Option C. Only B. Option D. Only B and C. The correct answer is Option B. Only A and B. Shifting cultivation made it harder for the government to calculate taxes. Question number 14. Match the following. A. 
the thorny bark of the semur. 1. It can be stitched together to make disposable plates and cups. b. The siadi creeper. 2. It is used to grate vegetables. c. The leaves of trees. 3. It is used to make ropes. Option A. A. 2. B. 1. C. 3. Option B. A. 2. B. 3. C. 1. Option C. A. 3. B. 2. C. 1. Option D. A. 1. B. 2. C. 3. The correct answer is Option B A 2 B 3 C 1 The thorny bark of the semur is used to grate vegetables. The siadi creeper is used to make ropes. The leaves of trees can be stitched together to make disposable plates and cups. Question number 15 Which of the following were a community of skilled forest cutters and shifting cultivators of Java? Option A The Kalangs Option B. The Gons. Option C. The Korava. Option D. The Orains. The correct answer is Option A. The Kalangs. The Kalangs were a community of skilled forest cutters and shifting cultivators of Java. Question number 16. Match the following Names of leaders. Places where they belong to A. Sidhu and Kanu 1. Chotanangpur B. Birsa Munda 2. Andhra Pradesh C. Alluri Sitarama Raju 3. Santhal Pariganas Option A. A. 3. B. 2. C. 1. Option B. A. 2. B. 3. C. 1. Option C. A. 1. B. 3. C. 2. Option D. A. 3. B. 1. C. 2. The correct answer is. Option D. A. 3. B. 1. C. 2. Sidhu and Kanu lived in Santhal Parganas. Birsa Munda lived in Chotanangpur. Aluri Sita Rama Raju lived in Andhra Pradesh. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.